Video Introduction Cyberpunk 2077 has finally released its long-awaited ray tracing overdrive mode update, which introduces a new graphics option to the game that promises to bring realistic lighting effects. But what kind of hardware do you need to be able to run Cyberpunk 2077's ray tracing overdrive mode and what kind of performance can you expect? Welcome to our video. Today, we'll discuss the recently released ray tracing overdrive mode update for Cyberpunk 2077. This update and the overlay mode it introduces bring more realistic lighting effects to the game, but how powerful of a computer do you need to run it? Let's find out. Ray tracing is an advanced real-time rendering technique that uses transmissive light lines to render highly believable and realistic lighting effects. Cyberpunk 2077's ray tracing overdrive mode replaces nearly all GI light sources, such as reflection or diffuse, with path trace 3D simulated light, resulting in significantly better image quality. Previous or lower-end ray tracing modes used a hybridized approach, combining ray tracing elements to create lighting effects without the performance hit. Overdrive mode takes full advantage of the unified ray tracing pipeline the game was designed to use, and the results are breathtaking. But it comes with a hefty price, with NVIDIA and CD Projekt Red requiring an RTX 3090-3090T, for 1080p 30fps, or RTX 4070T or faster to run overdrive mode. However, the patch also contains package performance improvements that no matter what graphics card you have. For example, between patch 1.1 and patch 1.61, the Radeon RX 590 saw an average performance increase of 15%. Plus, the game's path tracing lighting effects can still be seen in the game's photo mode even if you have an 8GB graphics card or better. But how does overdrive mode and the hardware that can run it actually perform? Initial performance results from Digital Foundry show that RTX 4090 can run the game at just 18 FPS at 4K resolution with overdrive mode engaged. However, frame generation can increase that number to nearly 100 FPS. At 1440p, the RTX 4090 pushed out around 45 FPS, and at 1080p, the card pushed out some solid 60 plus FPS frames. Performance from lower end cards like the RTX 4070T hasn't been shared yet but one user found that they couldn't achieve better than 25 FPS at native 1440p with frame generation enabled. But with DLSS quality and frame generation enabled, they were able to hit 60 plus FPS still. Ultimately, Cyberpunk 2077's ray tracing, overdrive mode is available only to RTX 3090 series GPUs and RTX 4070T or faster GPUs. But with the performance improvements of the patch, even those with lower end cards can still take advantage of the beautiful path trace lighting effects in the game. That's it for this video. We hope that our overview has helped you better understand the overdrive mode update for Cyberpunk 2077 and the hardware requirements to run it. Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in next time for more Cyberpunk 2077 news and tips.